So it's our last day in Xi'an. We've had a great time here. We're at the train station now. We had to get up at 6 a.m. We're not taking a bullet train. We're taking a regular train. Because it was cheaper. It was we a lot cheaper. Money. <laughs> yeah. But we got a DD to the station. Because we were staying in the old city, the DD only cost us like uh, 8 80 which is like less than a pound. So it was about a pound to get the whole way here. We're just going to sit here, eat some snacks, and then hopefully we'll be on our journey soon. It's only about five hours to get all the way to Luoyang. So unfortunately, our carriage is right at the other end of the platform. That was kind of a bit manic to get on just then. Yeah, there was a massive queue outside the front of the door. And then I thought the train was about to leave because they kept on blowing the whistle yeah. and blowing the horns. But we got on, we found our seats. We thought we were going to be in a three. The <laughs> seats are arranged in like a three and a two, but we, for some reason, we we're actually in a two, which is quite not nice. So we have a window and an aisle. Yeah, it's not too bad. It is AC'd, which is what we're worried about, so that's good. There's no plug sockets, which is a bit of an issue because we do yeah. like to do some work on the train. But... We're on the train for about five hours and I was hoping to finish editing a video, but my laptop dies after like 10 minutes, so. Sure that might not happen. <laughs> Maybe we'll just watch some YouTube on our phones and just chill out instead. We're about halfway through the journey. It's been about two and a half hours now, right? Yeah, about that. It's not the most comfortable train. The seats are quite hard and yeah. they don't recline at all basically we got used to the luxury of like bullet trains and now we're on this train right. i don't think we stopped yet no we haven't stopped we're going quite slow so obviously i think we're just a bit bored we've watched like five episodes of kimmy schmidt on netflix yeah that's pretty much all we've got we basically just have to sit here for another two and a half hours and just do nothing Toilet tour. There's a sink which works. There's a spot toilet which flushes. There's a tap here with a bin underneath filled with water, which is kind of gross. A brush. Not sure what for. And a mirror. And it doesn't smell too bad here, so I think it's alright. The only thing they don't have in the toilets is soap, so you need to bring your own hand sanitizer. Ramen in this country is so much better than it is back in the UK. You can never get pots like this, or at least if you can, I've never seen them. Like they have proper like actual vegetables that like come to life again when you cook it and stuff. So we've had our lunch. Killed a bit of time. Killed a bit of time. We were trying to watch some uh, vlogs, but unfortunately it hasn't been working. Uh, I think the reception is just too slow when you're going along on the train. So now we have nothing to do. We have nothing to do. We're out of Kimmy Schmidt. No internet. So maybe we'll just sit here and twiddle our thumbs. Talk to each other. Maybe talk. <laughs> I don't think so. We made it to Luoyang. It's about half past one, I think. And we now need to find our way to our hostel. I think it'll take about an hour on the bus. This is why we love China. Look how practical this is. So you don't have to like lug your rolly bag upstairs. So clever. So we did try and get the bus, but the like directional app that Rolf's been using to figure out which bus to get when we reloaded it, all the numbers of the buses had disappeared so we couldn't figure out which, which bus because it's quite hard to recognise the symbols that quickly um, and there was like loads of people trying to get some taxis and stuff so we just ordered a DD instead and are just getting that to the hotel, it's only about 28 yuan I think about. Yeah. Um, it's about three pounds. So it's not too bad. So we've arrived at our 
little hostel in Luoyang. So we've got two single beds. I think because it's a bit cheaper to have single beds and maybe one of us forgot when we were booking because we keep seeming to end up with twin rooms at the moment. We've also got this really sweet little room with a kettle so we can make tea and coffee and two little chairs and a sink and a drain so I think maybe this used to be a bathroom. And then going through here we have the bathroom. So mirror, sink, toilet, shower, massive hot water tank. So we're happy. Oh yeah, this was 207 yen, which is about 20 pounds, and that's for two nights, because we're staying here for two nights. So we decided we're just gonna head out quickly now, have a walk around. It's a bit late in the day to be going to look at any of the main tourist attractions. But we need to get a few little bits because We've run out of instant coffee, which we are feeling today because we're both really tired and we got up quite early. So yeah. we need to restock on that. Get some more water. Yeah. And then we just really want to kind of stretch our legs having sat on that train all day. This is the best shop ever. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got so used to these Chinese burgers, eating them from our next door, the restaurant next door to our place in uh, Xi'an, that we just had to get one. This one's a bit different, it's got some chilies in it, some lettuce. It's a bit crunchier, really, really tasty. And this was only, what, five yuan each? Yeah, and we saw the guy like making it outside. It was really sweet. I think this is actually quite a local area, which is nice. But mm -hmm. I think also maybe that's why we're having trouble finding just plain coffee, because all the coffee here seems to have like sugar and milk put into it. But, oh well, we found some good food. I think we'll just eat these and then head back to our hotel.